The following is a presentation of the Dad Gamer Football League. Week four of the National Football League, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Cowboys and the Giants next on EA Sports. We are across the Hudson for 15 Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today it's week four, and we've got what should be a great one here between the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants. Alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. They've got to be pleased with a start to this season. Obviously, a perfect 3-0. Three, three good quality wins, too. It's got people in the locker room excited. They're thinking that this could be their year. Meanwhile, for the visitors here, the Cowboys, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us-against-the-world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. in full swing and we're underway here in week four a fairly short kick from the 14 and a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line so here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time they'll be led out by a former most valuable player in the National Football League the always dangerous Lamar Jackson and there was a positive in last week's loss no interceptions thrown by him but he only threw one touchdown pass, and you know he wants that to improve. He might even consider that as part of the reason that they couldn't take the win last time out. I believe we'll see a more aggressive version of him this week whenever they're nearing the end zone. Flush to his right. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a well, you know, paramount for this defense is trying to keep Lamar Jackson somewhat contained when he tries to run. They did a pretty good job of it there. And you know what's so difficult for every defense that has to prepare for Lamar Jackson? You have to think and play at the same time. And I know that sounds like something you're supposed to do, but when you have to think about your assignments against him, it often slows down your feet. You don't move as fast. You've got to be prepared for this guy every step of the way and then try and match his athleticism. The quick, oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. And the Giants have it, it's picked up. They find some open field here. And this is taken into the end zone. A fumble recovery and a Giants touchdown. So the defense forces the fumble, they get the score, and a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post game. Evan McPherson for the extra point. We'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward, but they kick it here, and it's good. So not only the cough-up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. 
I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Throwing again on second and ten. Jackson firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, Jackson finding Knox there, complete. And he'll get this up near midfield, but that's still a few yards shy of the first down. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. Leading him out, the former Stanford man. At quarterback, it's Davis Mills. And you and I both know that any win is a good win. And that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an Had interception. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. A check on Jacobs from a week ago. 13 carries, 99 yards, and a touchdown. Well, to no one surprise, he gets an early rep right there. And they've been playing their best ball of the season as they built this winning streak. And that includes the ground game, where he's kept the offense productive and put them in position to win ball games. The question now is, can this defense that he's facing do what others haven't and finally put a stop to this streak? Working out of the gun, Mills. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Shaw. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a lot of times when you get a man with a third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end. And he comes through for him picking up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. They'll stay on the ground with Jim. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. Even the great ones, some of the best, they're not immune to the fumble, and here it really hurts them. If the ball gets away from any runner's body, that's when the defense pokes at it, swipes at it, swats at it, and finds a way to create a big play for themselves. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. 
Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down and that will not be ruled a fumble. On third down, here's Mills. Going up top. He's got a man complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. They chalk that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively. And then they got hit with that big play. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's Jacobs from the gun. He's able to get six, a nice pick up down to the 21. The last run got six, now second and four. Jacobs going to try the middle. Now we've got a giant player here, slow to get up after that last play. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. Looking to throw his mills. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. On for the field goal now is Evan McPherson. This from 42 yards out. McPherson's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well, and kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. Free kick out of bounds. So now the possession will begin at the 35 after the errant kickoff. Well, that's certainly one way to avoid a dangerous kick returner, I suppose, but you are giving up extra yardage, that's for sure, because if you put it out of the end zone, they start at the 25. So at a minimum, you're giving up 10 yards to the offense. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Second down and three. First carry for the Clemson man, Travis Etienne. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. The Cowboys are one and two through the first three weeks of the season, and they fell in the opener, got back on the beam with a win in week two, but stumbled again last week to fall under 500. And despite that stumble, I don't think anyone's too concerned because they've made mistakes that they believe are correctable. And this is a team still getting to know each other. I'm not that concerned, and neither are they. On first down, right back to ETN. Room here to run. What oh, a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Give him 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call. 
and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter and a lot of teams will just panic abandon the playbook and just start firing the ball all over the place it's way too early for that stick to what works for you down double digits and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there you're right they're sticking to the game plan getting the ground game going a lot of football left to be played a good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. Running out of the gun with ETN. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. ETN. A loss of two there. Second down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Jackson's going to keep it, and he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Lamar Jackson. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys are back within a score. Now this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one. And in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate, you should have all of Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep it back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Mills to throw it. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Aiden Hutchinson. Now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Taking a couple yards shy of midfield. But he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. On first and 10, it's ETN. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it second and seven. Jackson from the shotgun. And a quick throw here that's complete. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. 
And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. From the 16, Jackson. Quick hitter to Jalen Waddle. Touchdown! Jalen Waddle, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. Point after up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. A drive there of just four plays. And it was finished off by a Jalen Waddle touchdown. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. And the Giants ready to come out now. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Four yards to pick up, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. A first down throw for Mills. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Phillips. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. Now Mills. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six to throw Mills. And his throw is incomplete. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Brings up third down and six yards to go. Throwing Mills. And that is incomplete. And the punter's on the sideline. Here's the field goal unit now to try an exceptionally long one. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And that will keep this a four-point game. I tell you, it's not easy kicking field goals in the best of conditions. Yet in a downpour like we're in right now, it makes it that much harder. And sure enough, they can't convert here. So here are the Cowboys to take over. They're on the good side of this game right now with a lead, but they were on the bad side last week in that loss to Cincinnati. So now trying to make amends. Now they're set up nicely at the 45-yard line after the missed field goal from 55. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now it's Jackson. Over the middle, it's complete. 
And the tackle going to be made at the 38. So third and two. This quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. They'll run with ETN. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, ends up spilling it for a loss. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. So first and ten now from the 30. ETN up the middle. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Jackson now. Looking left side. He's got it complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 17-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. A shotgun snap, and again the ETN. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. Here's second and one now from the 7. Another tote for ETN. And he'll be brought down here at the 3-yard line. They'll run on first down. Britton. And he's going to get this back to the 3-yard line and no further. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll try to run with ETN. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line. No game that time, and now it's third and goal. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. This is third and goal. And this Giants defense, they have withstood the test thus far. Here's Jackson to throw. Forced out to his left. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. And his kick is good. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. And a mistake, a surprising mistake there in the kicking game as he sends that one out of bounds. Well, not one you see often there as he fails to keep it between the sidelines, and that is a penalty every time. And going to give this offense better field position. And it's every kickoff guy's nightmare, isn't it? Because you don't see yourself doing this, and most of the time you don't. And this throw will be intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off, and the Cowboys will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Well, oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. As the offense returns, let's take a look at running back Travis Etienne. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. Well, now he's looking just to add to his totals. 
Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch it, turn up field, pick up the first down. To throw again on second down. Jackson, and he fires one incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the gun, Jackson. That's caught Waddle on the left side. And they get him down about two yards shy of the line to gain. A third down pickup of five. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. It'll be just an 18-yard punt, and it'll be Giant football first and 10. And the Giants with one final possession here in this first half, and with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Mills. And this one taken in on the... I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play. With all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So that challenge is a successful one. This time they stay on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. Fifty-one yards on the punt there. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, time for a trip around the league on this final weekend of September. We'll get started up at Lincoln Financial Field in Philly. And it's the Bears who have the lead. Amon Ross St. Brown, a touchdown reception. Next, we head off to check out another game. And they were losers in that one to the visiting L.A. Chargers. Deshaun Watson, four touchdown passes in the victory. Lastly, let's get you to Charlotte, North Carolina. Check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting L.A. Rams. Aaron Rodgers leading the way with a couple of touchdown passes in the victory. With that, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Cowboys. And they've had some success on the ground. And with the lead going into the second half, they'll no doubt be looking to keep it going. Meanwhile, for the Giants, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Giants about set to go to begin this third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing 
equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Throwing again on second down, Mills. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. No surprise there, Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally <laughs> is. Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Mills now. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Chase Young drops him again for the second straight play, and it brings up fourth down. And keep in mind, in addition to the two sacks that he now has, CD, he's also had a couple of quarterback hurries. He's been very disruptive. To put it mildly, and it reminds me of the time I asked an offensive tackle who struggled like this in a game. He said he was telling the coach, hey, what do you want me to do? This guy's just eating me alive. And the coach finally just looked at him and said, applaud. Here's A.J. Cole now as the drive goes backwards. So he's on to punt it away. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this drive will start in enemy territory as that gets out of bounds on this side of the 50. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. A give, it's ETN off the option. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Jackson. Screenplay, here's ETN. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. There'll be a loss of six yards on the play. And that'll force a pot of a third and 14. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack. But that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. From midfield now, here's Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Decent gain on the scramble of six, but now it's fourth. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play. And he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it. And he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this will remain a one-touchdown game. Wow, partner, it's almost a little jarring to see a holder set up on the other side of midfield. I haven't brought out my binoculars to make sure on that one. That is showing an awful lot of confidence in the kicker to try and hit from 61 yards. And this one winds up no good. The New York set to take the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. On play action, Mills. Going across the field, he finds Phillips. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Uh, hang on a second here, because on that last play, it appears one of the Giants shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. First down, Mills. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Here's Mills. And his throw's going to be incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. Again, it's Mills. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, 
pick there it certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. McPherson's kick is good. And that will cut this lead back down to four now at 17-13. So that, uh, a good kick. We haven't talked about it much, but the wind is prevalent, and he drove that right into the wind. Yeah, and don't forget, the wind can swirl down there, too. So being able to read it, how it's coming, left to right, right to left, and to be able to execute that kick, that's pretty darn strong right there. Free kick out of bounds. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, well, that's a costly miss hit, and now you put your team in a bad spot. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now it's Jackson. And that's complete ETN out of the backfield. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Third down, Jackson. And that will be incomplete. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Dallas. And that is very well done there as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line absolutely ideal from that position you're hoping to get it down inside the 15 inside the five superb the Giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive and last time able to get three it's not what they wanted they wanted six but they got at least something they mustered something out of the drive they'll take it just I, I like the way you think you've described it not ideal but they'll take it anything to put some points on the board but this time on offense they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Mills throw taken in by Landry. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. A couple of first downs right in succession. And this is an offense that can really use a good drive. And they're off to a fast start here. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A handoff, Jacobs running to the left. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Looking to throw his mills. He finds his man complete. That's Phillips. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 40. 15 yards there on the catch and run. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 right at the 40. Play action now. Mills. And he's got his tight end. It's Mike Gesicki. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. On first and ten, Mills. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. 
Mills to throw it. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this is incomplete. Oh, a sure six points. He could not get that to stick, and that is a golden opportunity wasted there. McPherson's kick is good, and that'll bring him back within a point. He's got nine points on field goals now. He's made three of them. That gets him a bit closer, but there's no question they need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And for him, it's not his concern, right? He just goes out there when they call on him and goes ahead and puts points up on the board. But the offense has got to get together and figure out what's stalling their drives so they have to keep calling on him. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and ten upcoming. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. A third quarter now to one-point game as they line up second and ten. Here's Jackson. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. On second and 11 now, Jackson will try and set up the screen to ETN. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot him at the 44. Jackson from the shotgun. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. The offense on third down, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and four. Now Mills, and this is going to be incomplete. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for New York. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Jackson now. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. On second down, a run with ETN. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into Giant territory. Now come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On 
third down. Here's ETN. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Play action. It's Jackson. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. From the 40 now on second down, Jackson. And this one's incomplete. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Throwing is Jackson. Open man is Waddle complete. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. Yeah, boy, that's going to be close. He didn't get much at all there, but he got the first. Looked like they might have held him defensively, but the referee signals it will be a first down. And yes, everyone, that was the fullback carrying the football. I know it's a dying breed. It's a dying position for a lot of people, but I still think it's valuable and important, especially one who can carry the ball. And you need short yardage. What makes sense? Go to a big body, let him plow forward just like he did there. It's still a big man's game. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. They go play action with Jackson. Flush, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Randy Gregory, the outside linebacker, dropping him for a loss of six. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game, and they tallied four. Probably not as much exultation in that sack as what took us so long. Because when you get four the previous week, you're counting on continuing that momentum. They didn't get that done in the first half of the game. Let's see now if they start to bring even more exotic pressure towards the quarterback. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's caught by Jackson. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to the ground with ETN. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Now right where this set of down started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And his kick is indeed good. And they add on and get a little bit of a cushion. It's 20 to 16 now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction all of a sudden. They're down. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. 
See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. On second down, Mills again. And yeah, this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Eluding the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And where will this be spotted? The side judge says it went out just across midfield. Dallas offense set for this next drive. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Third and two, here's Jackson. Got a man, it's Waddle complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. He'll get... Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Well, that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we could make a play, we give, our team, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, Mills. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll make it second down. Throwing, Mills. And he'll go right back to Landry. It's complete again. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. First down, Mills. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Chase Young able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. This defense, they just continue to feast. Five sacks now as a unit. It's been quite an afternoon getting to the quarterback. And we're seeing it come from a variety of places as well. Sometimes just the guys up front getting to them. Other times you had extra guys rushing the quarterback, twists and stunts. It's been a variety, and they've had no way of blocking them. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Mills, fourth down, got to have it. And this is caught. He hits Landry. And he is going to have the Giants first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. 
He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I believe I could see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught 11 on the field. Those sidelines can become the 12th defender. It worked to the defense's advantage on that play. Now, this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. And that is incomplete. Now Mills on fourth down. He's going deep for Brown. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Cowboys defense is going to get them the football back. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. Now ETN to start the drive. And not much of an opening there as he's only going to get this to about the 32. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. ETN once more. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as he'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Throwing now is Jackson. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Down to Anigo's Jackson, and that should seal it. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So for Dallas, it'll be a 500 start as the win gets her back to 2-2. Two and two. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for the Giants, the defeat is their first of the year as they drop to 3-1. And, and they'll look to get back in the winning column next week as they head to Philly to face off with the Eagles.